Hi, welcome to Nini's Nest. I hope that you have subscribed to my channel, Nini's Nest, and if you haven't, please do so today. And share this with your friends because Christmas break from school is coming up and your friends may want to join us and hear some of the stories that I read during the end of December. So today we're going to be reading by the author of Goodnight Moon, Margaret Wise Brown, A Home in the Barn. And the pictures are by a Caldecott Medal winner, Jerry Pinkney. And they are nice, aren't they? Almost lifelike, the pictures of the animals. So outside in the cold, hear the wind rattle. Come to the barn, keep warm with the cattle. So this is gonna be about a chilly winter time um, in the barn. Here's the barn, hear the wind rattle. Open the door and see all the cattle. So there's the barn doors. It's fall at this point. Let's go and look inside. Outside in the cold, hear the wind rattle. Stay in the barn, keep warm with the cattle. The field mice came creeping out of a hole from out of the field where they had lived all summer and all fall. The time had come for them to move out of their little grass nests in the field and into the big warm barn. Nay, shiver, shiver. The breath of the horses rose like smoke in the cold air and the winter wind told them it was time to move into the big warm barn. In the big warm barn, all the animals were waking up slowly and hungrily, except for the little mice in the hayloft who had been up all night and were just going to bed. There's one of them right there. High up in the rafters of the barn, the swallows began to chirp in their deep warm nests of mud. Just as the dawn broke, the bats came whizzing home. And the cat curled up for a little snooze. Moo, a cow had a calf. And we know that's the farmer. Winter morn will be her name, said Jonathan the farmer, as he rubbed down her silky little curly coat. Lucky she was born in the barn and not in the open field. can see some eggs over here that the hen has laid. Biff, bang, bang, the proud bull, Sahari, was stomping in his stall. He had just been dreaming of another bull and was raring for a fight. Here are some of the mice. And over here are some insects even. Here is the barn, hear the wind rattle. Outside in the cold, the winter had come whistling in. Ooh, the wind said. The little fat pony who had been sleeping late jumped up in his stall and scared all the little calves in the barn. Nay! <laughs> And with so many animals all close together in the barn, it was quite warm. I see three horses and um, some cows, 
some goats, pig, a goat. A, this looks like an adult goat, and these are baby goats. A hen sitting on her nest. I'm sure there are more. Outside in the cold, hear the wind rattle. Come to the barn, keep warm with the cattle. Wow, it is cozy in there. Look how tightly they sit together. Here's some baby chicks. And sheep. Another pig and some birds. Lots of sounds in there, I bet. Here is the barn. Hear the wind rattle. Open the door and see all the cattle. And this is the farmer's boy milking the cow. There's the baby calf. Or it may be a different baby calf than the one we saw born. And there's the farmer's dog and cat. Nice story by one of our favorite authors, Margaret Wise Brown, who wrote Good Night Moon. I hope you'll come back um, again and enjoy another story this week on Wednesday. See you soon.